In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the rectangular array command. Now, there are several different types of array commands that you can use. And again, this one is just rectangular array. Um, we can find the array command. I'm on the home ribbon on the modify panel. And here we have array. If you notice, there's a little arrow next to it. You can pull this down and you can see there are three different types of arrays that we can do. I'm going to focus on the rectangular array in this video. So you select the object that you want to array, press enter, and by default, look what it does. It automatically arrays with um, three rows and four columns. I can always adjust this. I have this new ribbon up here, and I only see this ribbon when I'm in the middle of the array command. So when I see this ribbon, it's called a contextual ribbon. I don't see it any other time except in the array command, but I can come in here and adjust how many columns I need. I can adjust how many rows I need. And remember columns are up and down and row like vertical components and rows are horizontal components. So I can tell it how many columns, how many rows, and I can also specify the distance between those columns and rows. So between the columns, let's go ahead and see what happens if I make that a distance of six. And between the rows, let's go ahead and make that a distance of five. And you can see the whole thing just shrink down a little bit. Those rows and columns got closer to each other, but they're equally spaced. Now, I'm going to talk about this when we get back. This option right here is checked by default, and it means it's associative. I want to show you when we get out of this command what associative means. Easier to show it to you than try to explain it. So when I'm done with this, I'm going to close the array. Just click on this big green check mark, and that's it. Now notice when I click on this in my drawing, my ribbon pops up, but it's all one piece. It's not individual separate rectangles, and that is because it's associative. That's what it means when that box was checked earlier that said associative. It just meant that these are all going to be associated with each other. If I need those to be separate, I can always explode these objects. And I'll show you after a little bit how you can do that. Now, the, I want to show you right now these different grips that we have. So we've got um, this grip. It is just, it will help you move those objects. And then we have arrows, two different arrows on the x-axis and two different arrows on the y-axis. This outer row here defines how many columns we have. So if I just want to add some more columns, I could come up here and type how many columns I need, but if I need to do it visually, I can add or remove columns and rows with those outer arrows. And then this arrow here, the one that's a little bit closer in, this adjusts the distance between those objects. So if I need to get them a little bit closer visually, and I don't want to type in an exact distance up here in the ribbon, I can do it that way. If I click on this one, oops, I'm going to turn off my ortho F8. Um, it will add columns and rows at the same time. So I'm going to close this array uh, ribbon, and you can see I've got it right here. Now, if you want those to not be associated with each other, there is the explode command. It's right below erase, or you could type X, enter. But explode makes those into individual squares. So it's kind of up to you what you want to do, whether you want to have those exploded. You could always uncheck that box that said associative right at the beginning when we were originally making that creation, the, ha or the hatch creation, not hatch, the array creation. Um, you could always do it that way. One important thing to know is that if you keep it associative, you're not able to modify individual objects like trim, for example. You won't be able to use the trim command if they're all associated together. You would have to explode or make them or uncheck that box that says associative in order to be able to actually trim any of these objects individually.